a stable, comfortable, and happy life to you all. This video is about, how to become a work-at-home mom. This is the fourth part of the four video series. Before we continue, you can subscribe today and click the bell button now to get notified of our new video. Setting up the home office right. It doesn't matter whether you intend to work freelance, go into sales, buy into a franchise or telecommute for a full-time employer. You're going to find having a home office is a very important consideration. Even if it's just a closet with its own privacy door, having a retreat can be very important for productivity levels and even sanity. You're likely to discover you don't really have to spend a small fortune to set up a home office right. Even on a relative shoestring budget, you can get the tools you need for just about any career field. The basics to consider include a workstation. Elaborate isn't important here. Even if you use two filing cabinets with a desktop stretched across them, having a place to set other materials and spread out paperwork can be very smart. Filing cabinets or cabinets. It's OK if these are part of the desk or stand on their own. Either way, you're going to need them to keep important files, such as client information, purchase receipts for the business and so on. A computer. This is the bread and butter for many home-based ventures. A reliable computer with the right office programs can even help with a sales-based franchise. It's also a good idea to have a high-speed internet connection. This is especially so if you plan on working as a virtual freelancer or telecommuter. Even if you mean to start a whole new career, having a computer to work on can still be very wise. Invest in a good machine and make sure you have a backup in place too. Nothing can sideline a business faster than computer problems. It might also be a good idea to consider online hard drive backup services to make sure your bases are covered in a crash. Beyond a basic computer setup, you'll need to consider things such as a phone, copier and fax. If your field requires special equipment, you'll have to plan for that too. A telephone. Having a telephone line dedicated to the business is a great idea. While you might not want to do this at the start, consider at least putting a phone in the office. Printer fax scanner. To help keep costs low, a combination unit can work very well. A planner. You're going to be juggling a lot. To keep up with it all, it's smart to have a calendar or planner to help schedule your days. Basic supplies. Don't forget to stock up on other supplies you might need like pens, paper, record books, files, invoices, business cards and so on. A door. Again, you don't have to work in the home office all the time. If you want to be in the kitchen with a laptop while you make dinner, you're the boss. Still, having a door to close when you need can be imperative for concentration. It can also help remind you that you're on the clock. In addition, having a door can also remind family members that you're on the clock. Remember, your family might have a pretty big adjustment period to you working at home. The private space can serve as a great reminder that just because mummy's at home doesn't mean she can handle every single problem that crops up. Setting up a home office is a very good idea for giving yourself the space you need to get your work done. Even a very basic setup can help tremendously. Why you need one. Even if your house is tiny and finding a space to carve out of your own is a challenge, make it happen. Whether you stake out a corner of the garage, use a closet or claim a spare bedroom, just claim a space. The reasons why this is important include privacy, professionalism, the tax deduction, which can be a very big deal indeed, your sanity. A home office can be a bit of a complication to create, but it can pay off with giving you the space you need. It won't matter what your work at home job is, the privacy will be appreciated. You can count on it. Getting on the road to success. Unless you've decided to telecommute for a company, there are a few things you're going to want to do to put yourself on the road to success. Selecting a business field to pursue, establishing a home office and even obtaining a little training will not be enough to build up a client list and keep them coming back for more. Whether you intend to open a sales franchise or freelance for contract employers, there are several other moves you need to make to get started right. Advertising, networking and building and protecting your reputation will all become important considerations. 
once you take the plunge into at-home work. Why advertising matters. Just because you've decided to go into business for yourself doesn't mean clients will start knocking on your door. Advertising is essential for franchises, territory sales, online sales and even freelancing. People simply have to know who you are and what you offer before they'll take an interest in your products or services. Hanging a sign out isn't enough. So how can you get the buzz you need about your new home base business? These modes of advertising can help people get to know you and your business. Print. Depending on what you'll be doing, print advertising can be a great way to go. If you plan on selling products in a particular area, for example, local newspapers can work wonders. Should you want to offer your services as a virtual assistant to small businesses, trade magazines might be able to give you a boost. Online advertising. Paper click and other search engine driven ads online can work very well for getting online sales sites, freelancer names and more into circulation on the web. It can also be a very good idea to establish your own site, even for a highly localised business. Free advertising. One of the best ways to get at least an initial boost is to enjoy the benefits of free advertising. If you're opening a franchise or territory sales business in your community, send a press release to local media. If you're going into business online, consider blogging about your experience or field to generate traffic to your website. You can also write guest columns for others, agree to be interviewed by an online writer or issue web-based press releases to tout who you are and what you do. Other forms of advertising. Television, direct mail, radio and other tools of advertising can work well depending on your budget and the type of business you're going in. Consider your options carefully, however, as these modes for getting the word out might cost more than you want to pay as a start-up. Opening a business isn't enough to ensure success. Once you're ready to go, your potential client base will need to know about you. Advertising is a must to drive traffic and business your way. Networking serves several purposes. Networking is really just another form of advertising, but it is one that can be rather affordable and effective. When you get into networking, you're basically becoming your business venture's best salesperson. Plus, this can get you out of the house, doing something very important for building your sales and reputation. The options for networking are a little more extensive than many people realise. Some opportunities that might be worth exploring include Chambers of Commerce. Local Chambers of Commerce offer an excellent platform for anyone who sells a product or service to get the word out. While Chambers can be a little time-consuming in the grand scheme of things, they do offer valuable training in return for membership costs – and they can help business owners and freelancers enjoy a way to become a valuable part of a community. Networking groups. Many communities have their own networking groups that offer less in the way of programmes and more in the face-to-face -face time with other business owners that might be in search of products or services. Networking groups might meet weekly, monthly or quarterly. In some areas, you'll find general networking groups and even those geared to work-at-home mums. Online options. If you intend to sell products online or want to work as a freelance data entry professional, you'll find that networking on the web can be very important for your success. To get the word out about what you do, consider joining online networking groups, writing guest or expert articles for websites and so on. Launching a blog for your self-promotions can also work extremely well for driving traffic and interest your way. Using social networking sites can also be an interesting and effective way to create a buzz about your business. Sponsorships Launching a sales franchise in a local community and starting out on day one with sponsorship of an event, sporting team or something similar can spread instant goodwill. Sponsorships don't necessarily have to be costly to be effective. If you're going into an online business, your options might be limited. Networking is not only a vital advertising vehicle for your business, but it can also serve as a nice distraction for you. As a work-at-home mum, you'll find getting out and promoting your business is fun, rewarding and offers a very nice change of pace. 
Opening a business without letting anyone know you're there just isn't smart. There are a variety of ways you can get the word out about who you are and what you do. To make the most of marketing, consider taking a multifaceted approach. A good reputation is golden. It doesn't matter whether you plan on selling products at home parties, you're going to open a franchise, or contract work is right up your alley. You will need to guard your reputation jealously. Building up a good reputation and the benefits of doing so will have a very positive impact on your business venture's success. Your reputation can impact your repeat business and referrals. If you build great relationships with clients, your business will typically succeed. Fail to do so, and you might fall flat. To make sure your reputation is stellar, make sure to keep your word. Only promise what you can deliver, and do just that. This will help you build up trust with customers or clients. In turn, it can lead to repeat business and word-of-mouth advertising for your products or services. Treat clients with respect. Customer service is the key to building long-lasting business relationships. Treat prospective clients with respect and courtesy, and this will pay off. Make sure products or services are on par. While your professionalism will help you get off on the right foot, it's your products or services that will continue to sell your business. Make sure they offer quality and value, and customers will keep returning. Work-at-home mums can establish lucrative and successful businesses if you take the right steps to plan your venture, spread the word, and deliver service. Your efforts should pay off. More tips for success. While the path for success can actually vary a great deal depending on the business you plan on pursuing, there are some generalised tips that can help you no matter what. Some of the best pieces of advice for work-at-home mums include: have patience. Working at home can be terribly rewarding. It can also be terribly frustrating. When your eight-year-old tells you the same story for the fifth time while you're on a deadline, your patience might just run thin. Take a deep breath, count to ten, and explain to her you'd love to hear it in a little while. Believe in yourself. Since you're no stranger to the workaday world, thanks to your original career, you should have a leg up on this one. Still, it can be very daunting to have your own business and not have a company to fall back on. Believe in yourself, take stock in your skills, and move full steam ahead. If you are able to enjoy a successful career working for someone else, there's no reason why you can't do it all for yourself. Set working hours. This just can't be stressed enough. You have to establish a routine for most days to pull off working at home. If you'd rather spend all day with your kids, go for it. Just make sure to clock in when they go to bed. You have to stick with it to make a go of an at-home venture. Promote yourself. Do take the time to get the word out about your venture. If you don't, no one else will. Your ultimate success will lie not only in your abilities, but also in how well you do at pulling in clients and contracts. Be persistent. Launching any type of business takes time and dedication. If you're working at home, you'll still face the same obstacles any business faces. You'll have to be diligent and persistent to overcome them. Keep your contacts open. You're leaving a career with a company to stay at home with your family and launch your own venture. Make sure you keep your contacts you've established through the years open. They can be valuable sources of business for you down the road. This won't matter whether you're staying in your field or planning to pursue a slightly different track. The reality is, your existing reputation can help you out very much, no matter the field you enter. Do let your old contacts know what you're up to, and keep yourself and your venture in the forefront of their minds. Be realistic. Don't expect to build a Fortune 500 company from your garage in 10 days or less. While this is a fantastic goal to shoot for, expecting such successes right out of the gate is unwise. You could discourage yourself and harm your chances for enjoying your goal. Just make sure your expectations are realistic. Learn to multitask. You've decided to stay at home for a reason: your family. Make sure you do save some time for them. 
As you work on your business, this could mean needing to multitask. Learn to start dinner while you're on the phone. Make calls while you're sitting in the car line at your child's school. Put together mass mailings while you watch television with the family at night. Don't forget yourself. It can be so very tempting to put everything you have into your family and your business venture. While this might seem like a great idea, it could burn you out fast. Make sure to carve out a little time for yourself. This will help you relax, unwind, and recharge. Even 20 minutes a day reading a favorite book series, meditating, or jogging can give you the time you need to be just you. Overlook this, and your family, your business, and you are all likely to suffer. What about benefits? Your homework is done. You've selected your business, and you're ready to go full steam ahead. Just when you think you've got it all figured out, a friend asks you how you'll make up for those valuable benefits that your present employer provides. So how do you answer? Can you fill the gaps? Unless you've decided to telecommute for your current employer, it's very likely this is a question that's going to keep you up at night. Even when you've done your homework and your business is ready to go, the issue of benefits can burn unanswered. Chances are you can cover yourself appropriately, from health insurance and retirement to savings. You will find it is often possible to recreate roughly the same type of coverage you enjoyed as a full-time employee in the rat race. The right approach to take will depend on your personal circumstances. Getting insurance. If medical, dental, and vision coverage are concerns, work-at-home mums generally have options available to them. Making sure your family is covered should be, of course, a huge priority. These are the most common options open for at-home workers. Relying on a significant other. If your spouse can get insurance at work to cover the whole family, this can solve the problem entirely. There are some benefits to going this route too. While private insurance policies can be had and aren't as costly as many think, they tend to be rather limited in coverage. Employer PPOs and HMOs will cover more, and typically without exclusions. Private policies. Unless there are major pre-existing conditions to contend with, it is possible to buy HMO and PPO type private policies to cover the family. Shop around carefully for coverage, and the costs shouldn't break the bank. Do be aware of the limitations of each particular policy you look at. Non-group policies do tend to have a lot of restrictions and fine print that should be considered closely. Group. If your new at-home venture will employ more than just you, it's possible you could qualify for group insurance cover. This means you'll have access to the same type of coverage options as an employer would provide. The costs on this can vary greatly, but it can be worth considering if you have workers and an entire family to cover. Insurance is merely an obstacle that stands in the way of self-employment. Explore your options closely, and you should be able to find a solution that works. Do keep in mind that costs can vary greatly. It does pay to review all avenues and pick a final route that provides the best coverage for the lowest possible investment. Covering your medical needs might not be as difficult or as costly as you think. Readying for retirement. While insurance is a big consideration, you shouldn't forget about the future either. If you'll be leaving employment that offers retirement benefits or saving vehicles, you'll want to come up with ways to duplicate or even best the tools currently at your disposal. You might lose that corporate match by flying solo, but you can make sure you save for retirement as a self-employed worker. Some of the options available to help work-at-home mums put away nest eggs for their golden years include IRAs. Individual retirement accounts can be very beneficial for saving for the future. Not only do they tend to offer nice interest rate earnings, but they can also offset your earnings when it's tax time. Due to contribution limitations, however, you may want to have more than this card up your sleeve. 401ks. 
This is another vehicle for retirement savings. The hitch with 401ks is that they tend to be attached to the stock market, which means they can face dramatic ups and downs. It might not be smart to use a 401k as the only option, but they can serve as a good plank in the plan. You'll have to check with a retirement investment company on how to get one started. If you incorporate your business, however, this option should be open to you. Bonds. Although the earnings on these are not necessarily dramatic, they can prove to be rather sound investments. Federal and municipal bonds can pay off with good rewards in the long run. Stocks. Take care when using a portfolio as the only option because of the potential ups and downs. Still, this is a plank worth taking into account. Other investments. There are plenty of other investment vehicles out there that can help you replace a company backed retirement account. Consider investing in gold, real estate, and other similar tangible investments. If your business is one that could be eventually sold, this too could count as a retirement investment. One of the potential downsides of working at home comes in the lack of funding for retirement. You can overcome this obstacle if you plan carefully. And make sure to put away for your future. A penny saved is a penny earned. Retirement savings is important, but so is short term savings. If you plan on helping fuel your family's lifestyle or even funding it entirely, putting away cash for a rainy day is a very smart thing to do. This is also a great way to prepare for downtimes that can occur with any business. Some of the options worth exploring on the savings front are many of those mentioned for retirement investments. Stocks, bonds, and other investments can pay off. For more straightforward savings, you can consider such things as traditional savings. Just open a savings account and start putting away a set amount every week, two weeks, or month. Stick with it, and your nest egg will build nicely over time. Short term bonds. US savings bonds and other short term ventures can provide a nice way to earn a little extra off your savings. Money market accounts. Should you wish to earn a little more interest on your money, these can work very well. They operate like normal savings or checking accounts, but bear a greater amount of interest. Easy to liquidate investments. Some investments like gold, collector's coins, or stamps can also work well for rainy day savings. These can also provide a sound way to earn some money without taking a big risk in the process. It's not wise to use these as the only form of savings, but they can factor into an overall plan. Earning a good living as a work at home mun is certainly possible, but it might not be enough to cover your long term basis. If you want to protect your earnings, your health, and your future, it is very wise to make accommodations for insurance, retirement, and standard savings. How to juggle it all with ease. If you think working at home will be easier than any other option available to you, chances are you're fooling yourself. It is different, more convenient, immensely rewarding, but not necessarily a walk in the park. You can learn how to handle it all and excel in your personal and business lives both. To make sure you juggle your work, family, and home responsibilities with the greatest amount of ease, it can be useful to consider the following tips, techniques, and strategies for getting it all done. Set your hours. This particular tip cannot be stressed enough. Whether you plan to work a full eight hour day from morning through afternoon, or you intend to work at night after the kids turn in, set your hours and try to stick with them. Learn to prioritize. Since you'll be the one at home, chances are you'll have a lot more on your plate. You'll feel compelled to not only take care of your child and your business, but also your home. You cannot do it all. Learning to prioritize what must be done and what can wait will be essential. So, too, will be learning to delegate some duties to other family members where possible. Learn to ask for help. You're amazing, but you're only human. You will need help sometimes. Don't be afraid to ask for it. Have a backup plan. There will be some days when you cannot keep up with your child and your work too. Make sure you have a backup plan in place. Get a relative to watch the child, or even have a drop in situation with a local daycare. 
It's okay to not always be the one in charge of childcare. In fact, sometimes little ones do better with socialisation if they're allowed to be in a group setting once in a while. Make the most of downtime. Take advantage of any downtime you have to tackle projects that must be done. While your baby sleeps, for example, make your calls. As your child eats breakfast, get dinner started in a slow cooker. Do remember to carve out some time for yourself too. Take advantage of downtime. If you do have some downtime during set hours, take advantage of it to do other things on your plate. Tackle some housework, hang out with the kids, get dinner ready, or just relax for a little bit. Be realistic. Even working at home, you'll very likely not be able to handle it all every day in and out. Give yourself permission to let the house go a bit in favour of landing a big contract or carving out enough time to take the kids to the park. Prioritise what is really important, and your juggling act will work. Be patient. If you've never worked at home before with your children running around, you are about to embark on an exercise in patience. Your children very likely will not initially understand; they cannot interrupt you every five minutes. You'll have to learn the fine art of compromise and even how to be firm and loving to pull this off. With a little effort, you can avoid bruising little egos. Launching into a stay-at-home business can make some things in life a whole lot easier. It can also present with a whole new set of challenges. Be prepared to prioritise what matters and compromise on points that aren't quite as important. If you do these things, you can juggle it all and keep your business going, your sanity intact, and your family chugging along just fine. A few parting words. Choosing to be a work-at-home mum can be one of the best decisions you'll ever make in your life. With some planning, patience, and elbow grease, you can open yourself up to more time with your family while you earn a good living in the process. While working at home can be a big challenge, the rewards can be well worth it. To make sure you have your bases covered before diving into this decision, don't forget to do some soul searching. It doesn't matter if you're going to telecommute for a full-time employer or launch your own business. Working at home just isn't for everyone. Make sure you really explore the potential ups and downs of the decision. It's okay to decide this option just isn't for you. Select the right field. You do not have to have an Ivy League degree to make an incredibly successful career as a work-at-home mum. You do, however, need to pick the career opportunity that suits your interests and the skills you have or can obtain. Make sure whatever venture you plan on pursuing actually holds your interest. Get everyone on board. If your family isn't behind the decision, you could face a rocky start. Have frank and open discussions about what you hope to do and what that means for the entire family. Having you at home more will very likely be worth any sacrifice other family members may have to make. Establish your parameters. Set up a home office, establish working hours, and get ready to start off on the right foot. Doing these things can help you build and maintain a professional image, even if you are wiping baby drool off your shirt as you talk to a client on the phone. The best part is the client won't be able to see what you're doing. Get the word out. If you won't be working for someone else full time, make sure you spread the word about your venture. Don't stop with letting friends, family, and co-workers know either. Pay attention to advertising, networking, and other viable options for bringing in clientele. Continue to cultivate advertising opportunities well after your launch to keep your business venture in the public eye. Cover your bases. Don't overlook the importance of insurance, retirement savings, and a rainy day fund. Plan ahead on how to handle these things, and putting away for emergencies in the future will become a habit that your whole family can live with. Relax. Working at home is a juggling act. There is no way to deny that. Some days will just be better than others. Just relax and do the best you can each and every day. Sweat the small stuff. And you'll just drive yourself crazy. Leaving the rat race for a career that's based out of the home can be an excellent decision for you, your family, and even your long-term money-making prospects. This decision, however, is a huge one. Don't trudge forward without carefully examining your options. 
Working at home just isn't for everyone. Make sure you really explore the options and consider your motivations. If you know you live and breathe by working in an office setting with a lot of people surrounding you, you might not be happy at home. While it sounds nice to be able to spend time with your child, if you truly want to be in an office with people, you could make everyone miserable by doing otherwise. If your personality doesn't fit the work at home profile, don't panic. You can have an outside the home career and still be an excellent mother. Recognizing you need something different can actually be good for your child. Now, if you've decided the move is truly good for you, the chances of you enjoying success should go up. To truly make a serious go at any at home career, you'll need to have a plan in place. This will need to include startup funding, a business plan, and even some prospects for advertising, marketing, and a client base. Do your homework and move ahead with caution. In a little time, your business venture should be up and running. Remember, as you work at home, your playing field has changed dramatically. You'll need to be able to juggle, exercise patience, and keep a sense of humour about yourself. Work will be important, but so will your other job being a mummy. Set your goals and try to stick with them. Do, however, exercise a little flexibility. There will be days you can't get into the office until midnight, and others where everything flows smoothly from morning routine straight through to bedtime. The beauty of being a work at home mum is you should have the ability to adapt to the needs of the day. This particular benefit can be worth every bit of effort that goes into launch an at home venture. Becoming a work at home mum is a very big deal for a career woman. Stick to your guns and be patient. If you do this, you can make your dreams reality. Thank you for listening and watching this audiobook. If you like this video, don't forget to like, make a comment, and share. You can now subscribe today and click the bell button to get notified of our new video.